Hello and welcome to another session in physics. In this session, we will be looking at the topic expansion of solids, their effects and applications of expansion. But before that, let us review the previous lesson. Welcome back. At this point, we want to look at the effects and the applications of thermal expansions of solids. There are so many effects, there are so many applications of thermal expansions of solids. Um, before we start talking about that, let me tell you briefly what thermal expansion means. Uh, we all know that when we talk about energy, thermal simply refers to heat. So when we talk about thermal energy, we are simply referring to heat energy or energy that comes as a result of heat. So what this means when we talk about thermal expansion is simply the expansion of a body per unit area per degree rise in temperature. So when heat is applied to a body, it simply means that the application of this heat could cause that body to expand. Remember we said that a change in temperature results in heat. So let's look at some of the effects and applications of thermal expansions of solids. The first one is that if, for instance, we are to pour hot water into a glass tumbler, it might cause the glass tumbler to crack due to uneven expansion of the inner walls of the tumbler. Now what it simply means is this, as you can see from the next slide, here is a picture of a tumbler that had excessively hot water poured into it. Due to the fact that this tumbler was forced to expand unevenly, it resulted in the cracking and subsequent breaking of this tumbler. That is exactly what can happen when hot water is poured into a glass tumbler. So that's really a bad thing. The second effect is the cracking or the noise of zinc roof during the day and at night. Sometimes when you're in your house and the day is just quiet and it's a hot sunny day and then you just kind of put your ears up to the roof, you hear something like a cracking noise. Sometimes you tend to believe that a lizard or some other animal is running on the roof but there's no lizard on your roof. It is simply the cracking noise that is caused as a result of the thermal expansion of the zinc roof sheets. Yes, it is a known phenomenon that when heat is applied to a solid, that solid tends to expand. It tends to increase in size. For you to you know if this is true or not, just try to get a piece of container, a rubber, a can, whatever it is, put it inside a fire and allow it to start burning. You notice that as this plastic or can is melting, it seems to elongate, it seems to get longer, it seems to expand. The reason for that is due to the increase in temperature of that body as a result of applied heat. That is exactly what happens to our zinc groups in the daytime and sometimes at night too. A third effect or application of thermal expansion of solids is that it is used in the construction of bridges in which one side of the bridge is fixed and the other side is placed on rollers to allow for expansion. You would notice this if you live in areas where there are lots of bridges and you have the opportunity to get a closer look at these bridges, you would notice very well that one side of the bridge tends to be fixed and the other is tended to be placed on rollers. The reason for this is to allow for expansion on hot sunny days when cars are plying the roads. You know that bridges are very sensitive structures and if there is no room for expansion, it could lead to cracking or even collapse of the bridge when conditions are no longer favorable. This is exactly what happens on some walls of houses. When you look at some walls of the houses, you see cracks on the wall. That is as a result of expansion and the same could happen to bridges if care is not taken. The fourth effect of expansion as a result of heat is that of the stopper of a bottle which can be removed as a result of the expansion of glass. Sometimes you notice that when wine has been shaked, 
or when it has been kind of heated for some time and then you open it with force, there tends to be a popping sound, more like an explosion that is as a result of the expansion of the glass. So hot air is being forced out, leading to the stopper of the bottle, popping out with force. Also in the construction of concrete pavements, there are some little spaces that are being left within the concrete to allow for expansion. Yes, these little spaces are very very important as you can see in the picture here. So that during hot sunny days, when the, the temperature tends to get very hot, this pavement can expand and would not risk the door or the um, uh, culvert spoiling or collapsing which could result in the deterioration of infrastructure and could also lead to serious accidents of um, vehicles flying the road. Additionally too, in the construction of railway tracks, this is the most prominent example of thermal expansion. In the construction of railway tracks, there are some gaps that are left in order to give room for expansion. Look at it in the diagram here. You would notice that there is an expansion in between the two spaces here. This expansion, is this um, gap that is being left here is to allow for expansion, allow room for hot sunny days when there will be an expansion of this road so that it does not lead to a situation where if you can imagine that there was no gap left here and everything is just jumbled up together, it can lead to um, the cracking of the road, could lead to bending, could lead to deformation and if a train were to come here, it would certainly um, certainly lead to the derailing of the train and this would be catastrophic. Also in bimetallic stripes which are used in thermostats for controlling or regulating the flow of electric current, it's also used to give room for thermal expansion. In pressing ions for instance, in pressing ions we see that there is a device called a bimetallic strip. This bimetallic strip helps to regulate the flow of electric currents which could lead to an increase in heat of the ion or to reduce the heat, either bring it down or send it up. It is no magic, it is simply as a result of the expansion or contraction of these bimetallic strips as a result of uh, the magnitude of the flow of electric currents going into that ion. So these are some of the effects or examples and applications of thermal expansion in everyday life. This last diagram you see here is what we call thermionic emission. We'll talk about it later too. This thermionic emission comes when a body, for example a zinc plate, is explode, exposed to excess light or it is heated to a very high temperature. Electrons tend to go out or radiate out from the surface. These electrons are set free. That is what happens when um, there is thermal expansion of materials. At this point, let's talk about the advantages and disadvantages of thermal expansion of solids. The advantages are seen in fire alarms, for instance, in the electric bells which work on the same principle as the fire alarms, where something is triggered as a result of electrons flowing into the system. And this thing that is triggered is what actually makes the bell to ring and makes the alarm go off and people can scamper for safety. Another advantage is in the fittings of wheels in rims of vehicles. These fittings of rims are fitted in such a way to allow for thermal expansion so that it doesn't lead to the inordinate explosion or blowing of tires on the way. We've also talked about the bimetallic thermometer. That is also another usage or advantage of thermal expansion. The bimetallic thermometer makes use of elements that tend to expand when temperature is either increased or reduced in the thermometer. We also have red hot rivets in the building of ships that help to steady the ship while it is moving on an ocean. And then the last one we have is the bimetallic strips like we've also mentioned before used in pressing ions and electric cookers and are used to regulate the temperature of this devices. Now you can see an electric ion. This is the thermostat where it is situated, the bimetallic strip 2 and how it helps to regulate electric flow of current which in turn is a function of thermal expansion. 
Everything that has advantages also has disadvantages like we've said. So at this point, let's talk about the disadvantages of thermal expansion. There are so many of them, but we take just six. But the first one is the cracking of drinking glass water when hot liquid is poured inside. Imagine pouring hot liquid into a glass and as you're drinking, the cup just explodes in your hand. You're definitely going to get injured and that wouldn't be nice at all. That's one disadvantage. Another disadvantage of thermal expansion is what happens to the balance wheel of a watch as it expands or contracts. When it expands, what it simply means is that the time will be fast. And if the balance wheel contracts, it simply means that the time will be slow. Imagine wearing a watch and the time is saying 3 o'clock and then you're with someone only to discover that the person's time is saying 2.50 which means that your time was 10 minutes faster. That would be embarrassing. Or imagine your clock saying 2.50 when in reality the time is 3 p.m. That is what happens when the balance wheel of a watch is exposed to excess heat which results in the thermal expansion of the balance wheel. We've also seen what happens in the expansion of metal of concrete bridges which can lead to um, the rigidity of the bridge and eventually results in collapse after a very long period of time without maintenance. Another disadvantage is the sagging of overhead wires due to the contraction in winter or cold seasons. Here in West Africa, we don't experience winter, but we do experience the rainy season. So during this rainy season or hamatan, when there is much cold, you would notice that these overhead wires that are used for the transmission of electricity, these overhead wires during these cold periods, they will contract. They will contract because solids contract when they cool and when this contraction happens, they will sag as you can see from the image here. They sag and they tend to have this parabolic shape about them. We've also seen how railway tracks can become distant from one another as a result of the expansion of the railway tracks. This can result in the derailing of trains that move on that track. Another disadvantage, finally but not the least, is the bursting of water metal pipes. Take a look at this picture here. Imagine going to the borehole or tap to fetch some water and after some time, the tap bursts and begins to leak. This can happen when this has been heated so much and as a result of thermal expansion, like we've said, it becomes incredibly difficult to hold itself and so it has to give way and bust as a result of thermal expansion. Thank you so much for joining this lesson and to refresh your memory on what we've just discussed, please take the test that will appear on your screen.